and I was like, <gasps> rare beauty. When I look at it, I'm so irritated. This is the most hurtful one for me to talk about. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where is the pigment? Where is the pigment, lady? Wonders works wonders. Hello and welcome. Hi, I'm Sachia. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you'd seen the previous video, um, which was on American culture shocks, the video link will be somewhere here. You know that I went to the US and apart from trying out the food, one thing I really wanted to try was hyped up beauty products because I've been seeing it all over Instagram and YouTube and I was like, I really need to try this. So I had a list. I was so excited. I went to Sephora and bought a bunch of stuff, spent a bunch of money. And um, this video is to let you know what was great, what was not, and let's get into it. So let's start off with the base. The first thing we have is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. So it shares Shake Well Before Use. It's like this, it's like a regular spray bottle. It has like a herbalish smell and uh, it's quite light on the face. You, It gives you a nice base if you're doing makeup, like if you want to put foundation on top and then just dab, dab, dab it in, your skin is nice moisturized and dewy. I got the mini size and the reason I bought it was because I was waiting in line at Sephora and you know they keep the minis like in the line and I was like, <gasps> rare beauty. Okay, let me pick it up. So it was a very impulse purchase, but it's quite nice. It's refreshing. The next product is another rare beauty product. This is the under eye brightener. I have it in the shade medium. I got this at the Singapore Sephora because I needed to get a um, shade test done. When I watch videos online, they said that it's very cooling for the eyes. It's refreshing. You can put it first and then put concealer. And I really like this metal tip that it has because it feels very like cooling to the eyes when you put it on. So I'm just gonna like dab, 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 dab. I mean, just for this metal tip, I would buy it because it feels so calming on the eyes, like wow. It's a pretty good shade match also, I have to say. Like for my skin tone, this medium, I was going to, I was thinking of medium light, but that turned out to be too light. And this is, I feel like a perfect match. The excess bit, I just tap it in with my fingers. It's not as thick as a concealer. It's very, pretty translucent, but if you're going for an, everyday kind of makeup look and you just want something light to just cover up your dark circles or like brighten your under eyes then this is great it doesn't crease it doesn't dry up so i really really like this product now let's go to my favorite part the lips so i have two lip liners the sephora brand lip liner itself it's called lip liner to go and the second one is the kylie jenner lip liner Let's start off with the Sephora one on the top lip and I'll do Kylie on the bottom lip. So this Sephora lip liner is in the shade 18 Deep Brown. I bought the shade because I've heard that it's quite good for skin tone like mine. This goes on pretty smoothly. It's quite affordable. I love the shade. It goes with almost all my makeup and goes well with my skin tone. And also it's very economical. So I really, really like this lip liner. But the Kylie one. Kylie lip liner is unmatched. Like it's the best lip liner I've tried so far. It is so buttery, goes on so smooth and so pigmented. I absolutely love it. Look at that. Look, oh, I love her lip liner, so good. If I could give a comparison between these two lip liners, it's like the Sephora one is like applying with a crayon. Smooth crayon, but still crayon. Whereas this is like applying it with paint or like a very wet sketch pen because that's how smoothly it goes on. Now I feel like doing my entire lip in the Kylie one because it's so good. Never used to understand why people used to put eye lip liner, but I think I've realized now that it gives you a much sharper look. It gives you a neater look and it makes your lips stand out a bit more which i don't think i need but i like the way it looks so i'm loving lip liners right now personally i would say choose the sephora one if you want something that's practical and you can use it use and if you have the budget for it and you can find it then definitely go for the kylie one because the finish and texture and like ease of use is amazing now to fill in the lips is my favorite a liquid lipstick and you know me i love shades like peachy pink and I got the one from Hoss Lab which is Lady Gaga's brand. It's the Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer and it's a shake well before use. It's in the shade Rose Shine. Shake, 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 shake. Hoss Labs isn't there in India yet. It hasn't even come to Singapore yet so I was very excited to try this out. Look at the color. 
I absolutely love it. Um, it's very similar to the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl in the sense that it's a long-lasting liquid lipstick that has a shine, but it's also non-transfer proof. This one actually transfers a bit, but uh, not as much. Like if I was putting this on and I had to go out for a dinner, I wouldn't be worried about the fact that it's going to spread all over my mouth. It might, um, after eating quite a bit, it might fade, but definitely no smudging. The shine is so beautiful and it's very, very, very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't have that drying feeling that most liquid lipsticks have. And I really hope that Lady Gaga like launches it in India also because her price range also isn't very expensive for a celebrity brand. It's kind of in the range of rare beauty only um, or even like slightly cheaper, I think. So it would be so good if she brought it out because this formula is amazing. The other liquid lipstick that I picked up was the Kylie liquid lipstick. This is also in the shade Bite Me. I got it as a set with this lip liner. This color is gorgeous. I made a reel on it. I'll insert the footage here. Uh, it is beautiful, beautiful, but lasting power is bad. This one smudges, makes you look like the Joker. So I would say if you're just going out for coffee or you're just going out shopping or something and you want like a really beautiful color, a bold lip, then go for this. But if you're going out for dinner uh, and you then want to look like the Joker at the end of it, then go for this. The last thing in our lip section is this Sephora uh, Clear Gloss. It's in the shade 01 Boss. Glossy lips and glosses are in trend right now. And I have a lot of matte liquid lipsticks and I didn't want to like ignore all of them and then simply buy gloss. Like that would be such a waste. Plus most glosses are quite translucent. So they don't really suit my lips because I have two toned lips. So um, it doesn't look even and I kind of don't like that. The perfect hack for that has been to buy this clear gloss. Um, oh, oh, and I have a fun funny story from this. Um, so I had gone to the Sephora store in Singapore and um, there was a Fenty liquid lipstick. I remember it's called Glass Zipper or something. Everybody's been praising it like crazy. So I tried it on my hand and then I asked the sales staff there. I was like, um, do you have any other clear gloss? So she showed me the Sephora gloss and I tried that also on my hand and they look kind of similar. So I asked her like, is there like a significant difference between the two? And she said, you know, honestly, there's not like you can just get this and you get the same effect and I was like thank you thank you thank you thank you for saving me so much money because this was literally half and this has transformed all my lipsticks now I usually put this on a matte lipstick whenever I post a reel having this lip uh, combo on everybody in the comments is like what lipstick are you wearing what lipstick are you wearing what lipstick are you wearing and I'm so happy to be like I have a hack guys like if you already have a matte lipstick just get a clear gloss and it will elevate it. And you can be on trend without like throwing off your old stuff and um, no, no, not wasting a lot of money like buying all new products. Now let's move to the cheeks. And of course, for blush, I had to do Rare Beauty. Oh my goodness, the hunt for Rare Beauty. So um, I went to the Sephora in the US. It was all sold out. The only shades that were available was some bright red shade. And I was like, no, you know, I want this like a joy shade, like a lightish pink joy shade to, you know, go with all my lipsticks. Um, it was all sold out. I went to two or three Sephora's and every Sephora it was sold out. And I was like, what is going on? Like, Rare Beauty is from the US and it's also sold out in the US. Like, then where else are we supposed to get it? It was in Singapore that I found on the Sephora app. They had one shade available, which was Encourage. And a lot of people, I put a story on Instagram asking for shade recommendations. So a lot of people had recommended this uh, in the shade Encourage. But I had my heart set on Joy, which is a coral pink. So these are the two shades I got. I'm going to try one on each side because the formula is the same. It's just a shade that's different. So you can see how it looks on my skin tone. This is so pigmented. You will not need another blush for I think a year, year and a half, even if you use blush every day because you need just one drop. Now I'm going to use the brighter, warmer shade called Joy. These shades look like completely like opposite, right? A mistake I made at the beginning was to use my fingers to like smudge it out and it becomes very, um, it looks like a rectangle on your face. It doesn't look very smooth and like glossy. And because I put the Rare Beauty Primer, my skin already feels like nice and glossy and ready for the blush. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender. I don't have that flat blush brush right now. So I'm gonna use a blue beauty blender to blend it out. If there's any excess blush, I like to put it under my eyebrows. 
I'm liking the more lifted look or I'll just rub it on my nose. I think this method gives you like a nice diffused look. Now let's do this brighter color. See, I put just one drop but I'm dabbing, dabbing, still the color is so intense. I would overall say that Encourage gives you like a very natural kind of blush on your face whereas Joy gives more of a very obvious blush look so it depends on what you're looking for, what you want. I think personally my perfect shade would be between these two so I haven't, I've heard that Happy is a good shade. Um, are there any shades that if you're a similar skin tone like me, um, have you tried the shades? What works for you? What looks good for you? Let me know in the comments like maybe actually <laughs> I will try it out the next time there's a sale. But yeah, overall like I get the hype around Rare Beauty blushes. They're extremely pigmented. Uh, they might seem very expensive like it's the cheapest in the US. I know that it seems very very expensive You're like who will spend 3000 rupees on a blush but i feel like it's really worth your money if you're able to go to the store and just swatch and see what color looks best for you please do that because this 3000 rupee is a good investment if you want a good blush uh, because it will last a very long time and i like this i like cream blushes better than powder blushes and uh, i feel like it gives like a really really pretty look on the skin i got the ones with radiant finish because i like the glow also that they give to my face so yeah if if you had to buy just one product from the entire rare beauty range definitely get the blush and i'm saying this like as if i've tried all the products but this is the one that i like the most Next, let's go to the eyes. So my eyebrows are always something that I never paid attention to because I thought, what can you do? You know, I thought it would look too dark, but I have finally discovered the best kind of combo uh, and the most natural way, looking way to do eyebrows, even for beginners like me. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Whisk in the shade Ebony. It has like a spoolie on one side and it has the pencil on the other. So because I have sparse eyebrows or lighter eyebrows, I like to fill my eyebrow in. So I start off with small strokes like this. And because this is the shade Ebony, it's not too dark and doesn't look too intense. It gives me a more natural finish. So that's done. I use the spoolie to just comb it out. I don't know if you can see much difference but I think that's also the point like I feel like this is more defined and this is kind of like feeding into the background. This is main character energy, this is background character energy, you know what I mean. Now the second brow product, this is also Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called the Dip Brow Gel. I got it in the shade Soft Brown. The shade is very important because I tried a darker shade first and it looked like a booth. Uh, and I tried this softer shade and it also looks more natural. This I think is great if you don't have time. And you can just quickly, it's like an eyebrow mascara. You can just do few, few, few. So this one gives me that a fluffier bro and this one gives me a more precise bro. So if you're someone like me who has very light eyebrows and you don't want something looking like those thick, artificial looking eyebrows then um, try any of these two products they look very natural they look very nice and they make uh, doing your eyebrows fun and less imitating less intimidating this is not a beauty product but i feel like it's very essential to beauty this is the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum it's a brush like this that i just do like this like this like this like this to my eyebrows every night before sleeping it's very light it's non-sticky i've tried the bro grow it's like a box with that oil that you just put a spoolie brush in and you do it which is also fine but it can get over your pillow and become a bit sticky and messy this is light it absorbs quickly and it gives you the results so 100% recommend this product if you do not have eyebrows and lashes like me now to the eyeliner Ooh, okay this is the most hurtful one for me to talk about because of how disappointed i was okay so this is the kvd beauty which is the cat wandy beauty to tattoo pencil liner it's called a long wear gel eyeliner and it's in the purple shade and i was so excited for this because i was like cat wandy makeup is known to be like long lasting makeup it says tattoo pencil liner long wear gel liner oh my god i'm going to look like an angel goddess and even on the on the sephora site like the pictures look like this really pigmented eyeliner oof it looked amazing okay so when i got it naturally i was very excited and let me just try and show you okay i'm still like i bought it two months ago i think and i still when i look at it i'm so irritated okay it's easy okay
वेर इफ आई वॉन्ट एनी कलर टू कम आई हैव टू ड्रैग इट लाइक पोक माई सेल्फ इन द आई बॉल फॉर इट एक्चुअली कम ओके आई एम गोट ड्रॉ रियली हार्ड ओके Where is the pigment? Where is the pigment, lady? Let me draw a bindi, okay? See, <laughs> there's nothing. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Like now, something has come. Like after drawing like four, five times, and I don't know if you can see it. It looks like um, what to say? You know those really dried, old, very cheap uh, kajals we used to get like much earlier. It's like that. Such. pathetic quality and it was so expensive dude like i can't imagine people paying the full price for this and to get such a bad product oh my goodness so bad and also the comments people were like oh it's amazing it's the best no like why 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 lie and make people waste their money like don't okay so calm down but one good thing came out of reading that comment section is someone said that the sephora name brand version of the pen eye pencils are much better at half the price so i got it it's a very pretty purple color and it has like some glitter on it which i love oh i love this so much it's got such a taylor swift vibe this is her midnight's album color vibe So lavender haze. When I go for a concert, I'm definitely going to wear this eyeliner. I don't know. I feel like the eyeliners in India are kind of better than international brands. Like my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeliner. Sorry, the pencil is the Maybelline Superstay. Whenever I go to India, I always make sure to buy like three, four of these because I love it. So much happier. So much better. And this is like golden product. Thank you. Maybelline. Okay, one more thing. As I'm looking into this mirror to do my eyes, I'm also noticing that my eyelashes are so much longer. Ordinary peptide serum is wonders. Works wonders. Now the final product is also the most expensive product. This is the Kerstes Genesis Fortifying Serum. It was like sixty dollars or something. Sixty dollars USD. Uh, and when i saw it i quickly checked the price in indian rupees and in singaporean dollars and it was way 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 cheaper in the us like at least 1000 bucks cheaper in the us and one of my favorite beauty vloggers is um komal basit and she keeps talking about this a lot and i really trust her reviews so i was like okay i've come to the us um i'm in sephora i might as well just buy it and i have to say this product forget okay forget about the hair stuff this product smells so good it makes your hair smell so amazing like i put this every night on my scalp and just massage it and uh, akash always is like wow what is that you smell so good i'm like thanks this makes you smell like an elegant lady i don't know how else to describe it it actually let me try to smell and describe it it's like a um florally fruity fresh smell but in a way that's not overpowering like it's a very gentle elegant smell and with regard to its performance i was using it for a while and because i was putting it and massaging my hair every night i felt like there was an improvement like especially here i have that less hair thing um as a lot of us do so my main goal was to increase the hair here uh, but in between i don't know why i got some reaction to some food i don't know what but i had like a cute dandruff thing my head became so itchy so i had to stop this and put like dandruff treatment on my scalp so i'm now restarting it after a while but overall i have to say like um i think it's a good purchase but if you can buy a smaller mini version if you want to try it out first do that cuz it's a huge amount we spending in one shot but overall like i'm very happy with it and i feel like a star so this is my final look of full face of international hyped up products that i bought on sephora and i i really like it like i personally love this look it's very much my vibe and um let me know if you want me to try out any other products uh, i am seeing your comments on the previous uh videos so i've made a list already of things to try out but if there's anything else you want me to try put it in this and i will add it to my list and try another hyped up um uh, series cuz i think i am really enjoying doing this and it seems like you guys are liking it too um and if you've stayed on for so long uh, and you still haven't subscribed please subscribe it will really help uh 
me grow my channel and i hope you have a fantastic fantastic week ahead and um, i hope this video also helped you decide whether you wanted to spend your hard earned money on a product or not so if you tried something and it worked out for you let me know in the comments as well because i love reading those comments okay bye see you tada